Mr. Speaker, Chuck Kenman was a man of great integrity. But now we learn that the Conservative Party tried to bribe him and that the Prime Minister was aware of it. But Mr. Kenman could not be bought. Standing Order 23-1 states, the offer of any money of other advantage to any member of this House for the promoting of any matter whatsoever depending or to be transacted in Parliament is a high crime and, mis and tends to the subversion of the Constitution. What was the Prime Minister thinking? As I said earlier, Mr. Speaker, this story was raised with me two and a half years ago. I looked into it. There is absolutely no truth in it, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the officials who were at the meeting have been very clear about what transpired. And Mr. Speaker, uh, Chuck Cadman himself on national television, the day of that historic vote, also indicated that this story is not true. Chuck Cadman said he discussed nomination meetings with Conservative officials. He said that was the only offer on anything that I had from anybody. So the question, Mr. Speaker, is why we have a deceased colleague here who was highly respected. Why will the leader of the Liberal Party not accept his word? Not only was trying to bribe Chuck Cadman was an insult. the Prime Minister, what was he thinking? Mr. Speaker, I knew Chuck Cadman very well. He was a fine man who had experienced tremendous tragedy in his life and had brought that passion but to do something about that into politics. His wife is our candidate in uh, Surrey North. Mr. Speaker, the leader of the opposition would have us believe that Chuck Cadman was offered a bribe then went on national television to deny it ever happened. This is completely false, completely irresponsible, and I think the leader of the opposition should give an apology to the entire country. Is he saying that the widow of Chuck Cadman is lying? Is he saying that a conservative candidate is lying? Obviously, these men Great. were in positions of power. Why did the Prime Minister send these two people to offer a bribe to a dying man? The Prime Minister of the Phony Accountability Act refuses to come clean about the Conservative envoys who tried to bribe Chuck Cadman. That's right. Allegations that shadowy Conservative operatives offered a bribe to Chuck Cadman in exchange for his vote in 2005 go far beyond the boundaries of acceptable partisan activity. It is outrageous, an insult to the integrity of the political process and shows the depths to which this government is willing to sink to seize power. Will this Prime Minister apologize? Apologize to this House of Commons and apologize for this outrageous and illegal political behavior. The uh, insult is to the integrity of Chuck Cadman, who stated when he was alive, on the very day that we're talking about, that no such offer was made. The insult to the integrity of our Parliament is that Liberals do not respect that and continue to ask these questions in this House. Every single scandal they chase does not exist. The one about Chuck Codman, his own words, say it doesn't exist. The one about the Minister of the Environment, the police, say it doesn't exist. The one they're talking about now with Jim Hart, exact same thing. The police say it does not exist. And I could go on and on and on. They raise the issues, they tell the police to go chase them down, the police invest and say, guess what? This government is clean, its ministers are clean. And what do they do? They accuse the police of being involved in cover-ups. Come on, you know, get with it. We don't control the OPP. We have a clean government. There are scandals usually relate to appointments that aren't made, contracts that aren't delivered, political interference that never happened. It's nothing, 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 made. just like their policies, just like their leadership. The book about Mr. Cadman also quotes none other than the Prime Minister as mentioning, quote, the offer to Chuck, end of quote. So an offer was made, but the standing orders of this House say any offer of money or advantage is a high crime and misdemeanor. 
Why did the Prime Minister authorize any offer to be made? The member from Wisconsin is factually wrong, and it seems the Liberals know no depth in terms of how far they will go to try to smear people without Why? any evidence, without any backing whatsoever. He should listen to Chuck Cadman's words themselves. Chuck Cadman said no offer was made. It didn't happen. Have you no shame, Ralph? Have you no shame? But Chuck Cadman